YouTube, this is Quick413 back from camping. When I got home, there was a cardboard box sitting at my door, and it turned out to be the Sendox V1 that I ordered from Lego.com. Uh, yep, all unopened, all amazing. Um, I'm trying out some new stuff for my reviews. Comment if you like, comment if you hate. So this review should be a little different. Okay, so we start out, we see the Bionicle, well, we see the box. Level build box, the Bionicle logo, all the letters, ages 8 through 16, 151 pieces, and 8992, a little picture of him sending with his vehicle, big CGI picture of him riding his vehicle in the snow, which makes no sense, with the symbol in the background, um, little crystal ice stuff, looks absolutely awesome. He has a nice CGI picture, and he's firing at some unknown enemy. Even though he's a fire trap warrior, he's in the snow. But, yeah, he's in a nicey place. And we have the top, which has images from the new movie. Final oh, Legend of Born, the bottom. Bionicle.com, join free, scanner code. Just a picture of it. And my arm's tied up. That's the top of it. Okay, and then the back is kind of cool. It's a picture of him standing next to his vehicle, um, next standing on like the Great Maze or Scroll symbol. Very weird, but and there's a picture of the Baroness and the Caxium. Uh, bio code is um, C3NDOX. Uh, Lego Company, the thumb holes, the action figure game, how to shoot the Thornax launcher, the fact that it can swivel, the fact that things turn. Absolutely awesome. So let's open her up and see what's inside. I'm sorry, I haven't even opened it. These things are so annoying. This might take a sec. There we go. Oh man, I don't want to rip it. Ah, oh, man. Now this is twenty dollars. It's on LegoShop.com, which is where I got it. And ooh, look at this. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of getting kind of close to you, aren't I? Sorry. And we open it up, and we have um, a bag filled with lots of pieces. A little bag filled with oh, the treads for the um, thing. And the instruction booklet. Well, let's flip through it and see what's inside. We have the picture, how to build him, how to build the vehicle. I'll get back to you on the build after I build it. So I'll have to build it. Like I said, this review is going to be a little different than most of my other reviews because I don't even have it built yet. And let's look at some new or interesting pieces. I hope my battery doesn't run out. Camera, camera battery doesn't last very well. Woo! Nice! So, at first it really doesn't look like much, but apparently it's going to turn into a big vehicle. Um, here we have his helmet. Um, he uses it this way. But on the Caxium, it's used like this in blue. It's really kind of cool looking. Um, we have a trident from Kina in yellow. My yellow looks really weird in my camera, I know. Black swords, a bag of absolutely amazing pieces. Um, his limbs, uh, a jet. Uh, and I want to open up this bag and look at the little pieces that make up his, uh, his chain for his vehicle. Uh, oh, those are interesting. Um, ah, not sure exactly how to explain them. They could definitely be used for mocking. They look great as armor pieces. Hmm, those are kind of cool. See, they're just like little nifty little. They plug in the stuff. Apparently, they just clip together. Huh, that's kind of cool. Okay, well, I've got to build it. So, I guess I'll get back to you guys when it's built. Um, so. Uh, yeah, here we go. And I'm back. Okay, let's talk about the build. Um, it's not a hard build. But it has its ups and downs, uh, especially building the stupid treads. Ah, there's 20 pieces for that. <coughs> and there's only 150 pieces total. Think about it. Oh, 
Um, but the build's not bad. Um, it's actually quite easy. Um, I had fun kind of doing it. Um, yeah, I had fun doing it. Never knew exactly where something was going to go. But, uh, yeah, build's not bad. It's good. You could do it if you're a beginner. You could definitely do it if you're advanced. But let's look at the set, which is usually the most important part of a Bionicle. Alright, first thing we're going to look at is the rider, Cretaceous. Now, Cretaceous isn't a gory, a fire gory. Now, he is, his design is absolutely horrendous. He's pure matter, or pure metro red. Except for the silver and on his back and the blue head. It looks terrible. He needs some black. But other than that, he if he had if he had like black limbs, he would look absolutely awesome. But he he doesn't have a bad design. It's too it's kind of just simplistic. His head uh, he has his he has a life counter on him. His body kind of stupid looking. Ugh. But he's okay. He has Borok feet, big hands. Um, but he is okay. He's not the best, but I don't think he's that bad. A lot of people do. I don't think he's absolutely that terrible. But now for the biggest part of it, the Sendox V1. Now the Sendox is absolutely awesome. It looks just like it does in the pictures. It looks like a mo it looks like a chopper. It's just cool. It has these treads with these silver Nike feet, and it has these little gears. And the treads can roll. This is a, this is like a mat that I have, um, and they'll roll on that. I'll go backwards, but but I heard they don't go on tile. See, no, no tile. Carpet it works fine on. I know, um, but yeah, no tile. What the heck? Oh, this duster. Huh, I'm stupid. Uh, I thought it didn't turn. Uh, I'm stupid. Ignore my ranting about myself. But yeah, there. It's not very big, but it's it's big enough. Um, it has these jets on it, parts on it. Oh my God! Look, it's a part we haven't seen forever. And there's jets, some tubing, some spikes. Some treads, some more jets. But yeah, looks pretty cool. Um, lots of yellow, it's yellow, black, silver. And then to put Cretaceous on, you just put his hands on. Uh, er, like so. And his hands look absolutely terrible when he's holding it, they're like sideways. He could probably do it another way, but. I don't want to, I'm just going to do it due to the picture. And then you just pop his feet into these little pegs that are here. You may not be able to tell that at first, but the pegs are actually for his feet. Just kind of hard to get him on them. So you have a little peg. And a little peg. And Croatius is good to go. How, do, how did I turn that? I think mine like gets stuck. Oh, it's his arms that are getting making it stick. Okay. I, for, for a second, I had these arms on, and I couldn't move it, so I didn't know if it actually turned. But yes, it does turn. It's just hard to do with Cretaceous on it. So, he looks good on it. His, the red looks absolutely wonderful with the yellow and black. Um, Like I said, I like the traction. See, he's... Never too old to play with a snowmobile. I mean, seriously, guys. Never too old. Not that I'm really old, but... I mean, it just looks pretty cool. He's about the same size as Fear and Skirmick. Well, actually, he's smaller than Fear and Skirmick, really. Fear was... Fear was long. Or Skir Skirmix was long. But... It looks nice. The engines on the sides look cool. This Thornax launcher, just pop that in the front and phew, it flies over there. But um, other than that, it's a great set. 
I would definitely recommend buying it if you have 20 bucks on the side. It's not expensive, and it is a nice set. I like it. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much all I gotta say. Uh, until next time, bye.